Alright, how's it going everyone? Once again, my name is Jose Trujillo. I'm a fine art artist and I'm coming to you from my art studio to create another one of my oil paintings. And today we're going to be painting a, a cabin. Cabin in the woods. Cabin in the woods. Sounds like a scary movie. Like it is. So here we go. Please, if you guys have any uh, comments or questions, you guys always, you know, you can leave them below. There we go. Keep it awesome and simple. One thing that I like to do when I paint is I don't, I don't, as you can see here, I don't like to overthink. I see way too many artists, no offense, it's just not my thing, um, overthinking it. And it's just not my thing, you know? And what I mean overthinking is going like this and going like that. 
Yeah, right there. You know, nope, that's not my thing. I think that when you're when you're uh, creating work, I said it in other videos, of course, but you know, it would not hurt to say it again. Uh, when you're creating artwork or, or, or any type of work, I learned um, a long time ago. This uh, I used to do uh, remodeling. I used to remodel homes, and that was a. Uh, Pretty much my my daytime job, right? I used to remodel homes with um, different contractors, and uh, at some point also with a, my my oldest brother, one of my oldest brothers, not my oldest. And and when I was working with uh, them, we had this these major projects to do, right? Some of them pretty major projects, and I didn't know, of course, I didn't know how how to work in environments, in fast-paced environments, but you still had to um, uh, deliver quality. You couldn't just be fast-paced and, and, you know, all sorts of problems would arise if you were just fast-paced and not um, careful. So what I would do is what most normal, you know, normally most people do, that I would, I would start working on something, let's say I was taking sheetrock or something, you know. So, um, I would go at it, full heart, right? Start hitting some sheetrock or, you know, building a wall, or whatever we're doing. And, um, and then I would pause and look at what my, you know, my progress. And then go back at it again. And it seemed like the normal way of working, right? I, I saw most people working that way, so I was like, well, that's, that's the way I guess you're supposed to work. You know, I didn't know better. Um, until one time I was working with this older, uh, older man who, who had uh, lots of experience in the construction and, you know, craft in industry. And he looked at me and he said, young man, you're working wrong. That's not, you're not supposed to work like that. He's older. He was a, he had been a rancher in Mexico. I knew him for a while, you know. And he told me, you know, that's not, you don't, you're doing it wrong. That's not how you're supposed to work. And I didn't pay attention to him, right? So days went by, and I was also an artist, right? Well, not days, but months or whatever, time went by. And one time he saw me, uh, I, I, I saw him, I guess, working at a, at a, I was creating a mural type for, for uh, one of my first uh, art studios. And I was creating one of those types of, uh, what do they call them? Um, fresco type of murals. Some of it was fresco, some of it was a seco. Those of you who know, it's a, an Italian form of painting is very famous in Mexico. I learned how to do some of that. So I was, I was trading the, my skill, right? Creating a mural for them uh, in order to save some uh, months in rent. And he saw me outside. Uh, I was preparing some, some uh, paint and, and the materials. And he you know, asked me, what are you doing? And I was like, well, I, you know, I, I paint here. This is my studio and blah, blah, blah. And he's like, well, let me see. What are you doing? He walks in there. He stands. It wasn't long before he, he sees that I'm doing the same thing, right? I go, I climb the ladder, the ladder. <laughs> because this mural is big, right? This mural is like, I don't know, like 10 by 20 feet. And there's like four walls of that. And he looks at me. And after like seeing me work for 10 minutes, probably not even, you know, <laughs> it was maybe 10, 15 minutes. I don't know. He looks at me and he says, young man, you still, you still haven't learned how to work. And I was like, what, <laughs> what is this man talking about? And, uh, long story short, because I guess I'm making this, this story very long. Uh, he tells me you pause too much. 
And, and he explained to me, most people pause when they're working. They pause too much. They take breaks. Some people take smoking breaks. Other people take phone breaks. And he says, you take a break that, that, that it's, it's, it's a different type of break. You like to uh, see the project again. Right? You take some steps back and you want to see the project. You want to see it, uh, revise it visually over and over. And he told me, um, you will never finish projects that way. That's not how you're supposed to work. And I took it to heart. You know, it hurt, it pierced through first. I was like, oh man, this man's telling me that I'm, you know, I'm basically a, an idiot, right? But uh, after a while, I understood what he was talking about. And I guess that that was my story, you know. That is one of the reasons why I... It's not the only one, but it's one of the reasons why I, I paint and I paint quick and I don't stop. I feel it's, it's kind of my own uh, little homage to uh, Forrest Gump, you know? Just run. Just run. It's that simple. You'll figure out when you get there. Don't stop. Not even to see what you're doing. Especially. Not to see what, not to hear what other people think you're doing. There you go. My name is Jose Trujillo. And I did it again. Here's another one of my Smaller oil paintings, like oil painting demo. I hope you liked it. Leave your comments below, and I will come in. I will be coming back soon with uh, more awesomeness. Thank you so much. Till next time.